uh, with Algy and um, who else? Nate and uh, and I. They've been doing really good and uh, with that first group, and then with Cody Bond and uh, and AJ Moore, and then also uh, for the first for the first couple of weeks with uh, Kobe Hansen and those guys holding up the second group. It's, it's been good. Uh, they we put a lot on them and, and they've responded. So I'm happy with their progression. What do you look for them to do in the spring with limited live work, running back? You know, you can't, they're not breaking tackles or whatever, you know, yeah, those guys can do. So what, what do you look for from them? A lot of stuff that we have to simulate uh, that will happen in the game. Uh, little nuances uh, in protection and um, the way they run their meshes with, with the quarterbacks and and things like that. You know, we, we've been working really hard and, and trying to, you know, tighten those things up. Uh, you know, so that by the time we get to, to Nebraska, they'll be, you know, worthy of, of what we want. So uh, they've been doing a good job with that. Has um, Nate Carter earned more playing time for next season? You know, that's a, that's going to have to play itself out in fall camp. Uh, what I know about Nate is that he comes to work and, and, uh, and that he's uh, consistent with, with uh, what he does. Uh, playing time is totally contingent on, uh, on how they perform in fall. So he's earned that, uh, that chance to come back in, in fall. And, and he's going to have to earn his role there, too. So, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Talk about that. That's probably one of his biggest strengths. What are, when, as far as limitations go, what limits him as far as being? Because he's always out there, you know, seems like in practice he makes a lot of plays and stuff. So. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, Nate, Nate, Nate is Nate. And, and uh, I'd, I'd rather focus on his strengths and, and, uh, and what he does well. And um, the main thing I, I say is his consistency. I, I know what I'm going to get when I, when I play that hand. And, uh, and Nate always produces, so I'm, I'm happy with him for that. How confident are you that Jamal will be back 100% in the fall? Again, uh, I'm not a betting man, so I, I'm not going to say anything yet. But I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that he'll be ready. Uh, what he's coming back from is uh, a very huge and devastating uh, injury. And so, uh, again, I'm cautiously optimistic about uh, his progression. However, you know, from what I see, he's, he's doing well. And then, uh, you know, he's He's dancing a lot more now, so I think that's uh, <laughs> helping rehab his knee, I guess. So. If he wasn't 100% when Nebraska comes around at the beginning of the season, would, would there be consideration for a red shirt, possibly for Jamal? Again, that, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, hypotheticals are for law school, man. <laughs> that's uh, done with that already. So, uh, Yeah, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. As far as I, what it, the transition he's making and what you're seeing from him, what, what, where's he at? I, I is a, a load now. Uh, I, I've been pleasantly surprised with uh, his progression. Uh, he's uh, never played the position ever before. And uh, so teaching him and what to do and, and uh, again, ensuring that he, his main strength of, of his physicality uh, doesn't lack, uh, I think, uh, is my main focus uh, with him. And uh, we're going to continue to do the things that he, he's, he's, he's strong in. And uh, and uh, I, I think he's going to uh, be a good help to us uh, in the fall. Do you see him playing a similar role to what Paul played? Is that kind of what he's looking at? or there, some In some things. Okay. Uh, Paul, uh, you know, bless his heart, he learned a, uh, a, a pretty hard position uh, within a, a small time frame. And so um, I'll compare Ai when he's done to, to Paul later <laughs> on. When, uh, for now, uh, you know, the, uh, right now it's we're putting him in uh, in positions where he can be successful, and, and I'm hoping that uh, he progresses uh, into the fall. Does Algie fall into that big back category? I know sometimes you classify him as big back, fast back. Uh, Al Algie is uh, Algie can do both, and, and uh, Algie is one of those uh, those guys that that uh, can be trusted in, in both positions, and uh, he's he's earned that. He's, he's uh, He's played them both, and, and I'm, I'm just going to continue to to help him uh, master both of those positions. Uh, and I, I think uh, for him to, to progress, he's going to have to do that. And for our team to be successful, he's going to have to do that. So uh, we're putting a lot of it on his shoulders, and, and I'm, I'm hopeful that he'll he'll do he'll do well and do right by us for uh, for the fall. Where does Adam Hine fit into this, and what's wrong with him? Why is it? Well, uh, that's a question for the training room. Uh, you guys can ask them, but uh, I think Adam is, is going to be uh, 
a great asset to our team. Uh, he's, he's a leader in our group, especially in the room. Uh, him, uh, Jamal, and Nate are, are the seniors um, in my room, and they, they provide great leadership. So uh, you guys have seen um, Adam when he's at his best, like uh, in Texas, and you know when he ran that kick back in Virginia. Then, you know that, That's what we expect of, of, of Adam, and I'm uh, fairly certain he's going to do that. Coaching uh, D- uh, with the fullback position, where does that factor into this group? Again, he, he'll he'll be uh, a strong and uh, forceful guy in, in our group, and uh, we're gonna make sure that we put him in, in positions where he's strong and uh, where he can uh, help our team. And uh, I think he's doing that right now. Uh, you guys have been here through spring and have seen him progress, and uh, it'll most likely be in that role. Kind of like a Manasse Tonga, the fat passing out of the catch out of the backfield. Yeah, I don't know. Not, <laughs> not, not that. No, I won't go that far. But, okay. but uh, uh, I will, will, will be a strength, and uh, he'll be a solid force for our, our group. And uh, when you see him, uh, just anticipate that he's going to bring his physicality. So. With the amount of experience that the running back groups have, you know, with all these guys we've been talking about, the yeah. newcomers, has it been hard for them to, you know, break in and, and find opportunities? or? No, well, uh, for them, I, I've seen a lot of progression. You know, for our offense, uh, it, it, it's a lot to to handle, and so uh, they, they've been doing a good job of, of getting that done. You know, on their own time, and, and uh, I think uh, the, again, they're, they're, they've earned a chance to, to come back in the fall and to compete. And um, only the elite are going to play in my room, and so they, they've got an uphill uh, an uphill battle. But they understood that uh, when they signed up for this job, so. I'm anticipating them to uh, continually get better and progress throughout the fall and then uh, the summer and then be ready for for fall uh, against Nebraska. So.